hey, as go in. In tennis, power in a shot comes from combination of technique, body mechanics, and timing. There are multiple things to consider, and uh, let's start with the legs. So the first part, generating speed in tennis, are your legs and ground force. So when you don't bend your knees, you're standing straight, try to jump up from this position. So it's not so comfortable. But as I bend my knees, now I can jump a lot higher. So when I hit my forehand, going down, bending your knees is essential. So I'm going down and now I can push up and forward. So the movement is up and forward into the shot. We need to have a proper kinetic chain and it starts from ground up. One exercise I like to do to develop the strength in my legs are the lunges. So I'm going down and pushing off. So go down, back straight and go up. So this exercise develops your leg strength. So the second part of getting more power into your shots as we talk about the forehand is the hip and shoulder rotation into the shot. I see many players are turning sideways. This is better than nothing, but as we turn sideways, try to get more than sideways. So the upper body needs to be turned past hips. So you get that separation angle. That means that your upper body is turned more compared to the hips. So the loading phase, the upper body is turned more compared to the lower body. So you can now explode into the shot. So really try to use your hips and shoulders as you create that powerful shot. So when you want to hit more powerful shots, definitely feel like your uh, shoulder is touching your chin and there's a plenty of body rotation. So you have loaded enough and try to fire your hips. So the number one energy source are your hips. Basically when you're going down and the speed, how you're going up into the shot defines how much power will you get into your shot. So I'm going down and now I'm exploding up and forward this part. And the racket just follows to the body. So the racket just follows to the body. Now the third part of the kinetics chain is your arm, your arm extension into the shot. If you get a lot of arm speed, it's good. But the downside is if you rely too much on your arm, it may cause injury. And of course, it may lead to inconsistent shots. Only swinging by arm. I might hit fast, but it's dangerous. I might lose all of my consistency. The arm only delivers the power generated by the legs and core. And it's the final part of the kinetic chain. As you're looking to hit your shots faster, the racket head speed also is so important. If you want to hit fast, try to really focus on that hit feeling. That means that all the racket head speed is generated prior to the contact. So when you have bigger racket head speed, the balls are gonna fly faster. So the greater racket head speed has to come from the fluid relaxed motion. Think of it like you're throwing your racket away. So everything here is loose, fluid and fun feeling. So when hitting your shots, try to feel the fun feeling. It should be fluid, relaxed and also fun feeling. And it should be effortless to hit to the back fence. And the final part 
to hit your shots fast definitely is the timing. Even with the perfect body mechanics, if your timing is off, it reduces your power. So whether you're making contact to in front too early or whether definitely that reduces the power is making the contact too close to the body and also being late. So having a great timing, it increases your shot speed and it also feels more effortless to hit the shot. And definitely you need to hold the racket loose. Having a loose, fluid, relaxed motion definitely increases the speed of your shots. So it's critically important making the contact in front of you. Now I got all the body behind my shot. I'm not here. When I'm making the contact here, I'm start to pushing it and it feels unnatural and it may cause an injuries. So when you start to muscle your shots, it definitely reduces the speed of your shots. So it all starts from anticipating the shot, trying to get ready behind the ball early so you have more time for the full body use. So I'm setting myself early and now I can use the whole body. So I'm behind the ball and I'm hitting it. Behind the ball and I'm hitting it. Yeah. So the power is often improved as we fix our positioning and timing. So position and making the contact in front. Good positioning, hitting in front. So notice I'm bending my knees and I'm making the body rotation into the shot. I'm firing with my hips and at the same time I'm holding the racket loose good position and good contact point and relaxing at the end. So there are different aspects and combination of those aspects such as technique, body mechanics and timing will give you faster shots and you're going to enjoy your tennis strokes more. So that's it for today. I appreciate watching you this video. I will see you soon. And as always, take care and bye.